Hello and welcome to this section of the MATLAB Tutor. Uh, here we are going to learn how to join matrices together uh, or join vectors together to form larger matrices. So we're just kind of learning how to build up. Uh, occasionally you might have a, some data sets that need to be joined or merged into a single matrix element or to a single matrix entity. So the easiest way to do that is um, let me call uh, vector1. We'll just define it as a 4, 5, you know, negative 1, 0. So that's vector1. Vector2 we'll call uh, 4, 4, 4, 3. So I have two vectors, vector1, vector2. Each one of them has four elements, right? 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right, so I can call matrix. I can join these guys together by the following. I can say vector1 semicolon vector2. And if you think about it, this makes total sense because vector1 is defined to be this bracket, you know, with all these elements inside. So vector1, all these elements are going to go on the first line of this matrix. Semicolon means go to the next line. Vector2 is all of these elements. So literally I've told MATLAB, use the elements from vector1 for the first row and the elements for vector2 of the second row. And so we get a matrix that is exactly what we expect. So it's, it's something that you might have occasion to do. Go ahead and clear the screen here. You can continue this, this whole idea. Uh, you can create something, let's do small matrix one. Let's create a small matrix, just real quick. Four, 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 semicolon, uh, three, 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 semicolon, two, two, two. So this guy's a matrix that looks like this. Small matrix uh, one, small matrix two uh, is going to be, let's do, you know, uh, six, 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 semicolon, seven, seven, seven. Okay. So here we have small matrix two. So now if we call big matrix, and inside of this guy we put small matrix one, semicolon, small matrix two, let's see what happens. And you can see I forgot to put an equal sign in there, so let me just retrieve this guy and set an equal here. So big matrix is gonna equal to the construction of this guy here, and you can see I have a large matrix that's formed. So big matrix literally is the elements of small matrix one, which is up here, so these elements here, sort of in the you know the first part of the matrix, and then I'm appending to that in the subsequent rows the elements of small matrix two. Now let me show you one gotcha before we go any further. Let me look at vector one and vector two, and then what did we can we did a matrix? We put those two guys together and we form this matrix here. Let me uh, do vector three. Let me create vector three. And I'll just do it as a four, three, two, like this. So here's vector three. So now, what do you think is going to happen if I try to add vector three in it is some additional elements into this matrix? So what I can do is I can say matrix two, we create another matrix. And I'm going to say, okay, let's put the elements vector one for the first row. Let's put the elements of vector two for the second row. And let's put elements of vector three for the third row. And let's see what happens. MATLAB does not like that because I'm trying to create a matrix here. I'm saying, go ahead and put the elements for vector one in the first row. Okay, so we have four elements. Elements for vector two in the second row. There's the four more elements. Elements for vector three in the third row. I've only provided three elements. MATLAB is not going to pad anything with zeros. It thinks vector three is really only three elements. So if you try to create a larger matrix with four elements for the first row, four elements for the second row, and three elements for the third row, you can't do it. You, you have to um, you have to have the equal number of elements in this in the column so that what you end up with is a matrix that looks like something. You can't have a matrix with four elements, four elements, and then three elements in the in the third row. It just isn't possible. So the way to fix that uh, would be to add another element here. You have to. You have to have four elements. So now vector three contains four elements. And now if I rerun this command again, vector one, vector two, vector three, each on different rows, then I can create my matrix because you have to have it. Um, you have to have the dimensions correct to do that. So just a short section showing you how you can have either vectors, which don't forget are just matrices with one row, or matrices using those guys to build larger and larger matrices. There could be a chance when you might use that if you have different data sets or something that you have to merge together in order to do some, some sort of analysis on it. So make sure you understand that. The syntax is really intuitive. If Once you understand how MATLAB works, then the syntax behind this is, is really not a big deal.